Valerie and I'm a real Prague guide and today you are gonna spend one day with me. So let's go! One day in the life of Prague tour guide, but before that let's pack our backpack. My bag of Prague tour guide should always have a bottle of water, umbrella, guiding license, and also hand sanitizer, tablet to show some pictures, numbers in case we have a lot of people in the group, and a rain jacket. Actually, I'll need it right now. Today is Sunday, which means yesterday was Saturday, and Prague looks very post-apocalyptic. Everybody was partying before that. And here I am at the meeting point today with Nicolas. We are just now waiting for the group to arrive. Today is quite a rainy day, but nevertheless everybody showed up, which is a surprise for us. Usually people cancel when it starts raining. I love the beginnings of the tours because that's when I meet everybody for the first time, find out where everybody is from, we cover some basics together and then head out to the old town. I started working as a guide in 2016 and first it was my part-time job. I was doing it while I was studying in university here in Prague and slowly but surely I started working more and more, especially during summers when the season was kind of at the peak and then it became my full-time job. Prague is never the same city as it was yesterday. There is always a new reconstruction going on, some new place opened, so it's always exciting to guide in the city. I think the most difficult part about uh, being a guide is trying to make sure that everyone is happy on a tour. So keeping people happy on a tour, answering everybody's questions is always a challenge. But uh, people usually help me with that. Uh, how do they help me? They ask me questions themselves, <laughs> which is always great. I love answering questions. That's probably my favorite part of any tour, if somebody asks me something interesting. So after we see some sights, I usually get to the Old Town Square, the place that everybody is looking forward to see. Everybody except me. Because guiding on the Old Town Square is like trying to win in a lottery. You never know if there's going to be a concert or some loud performance or a homeless person trying to kill you. Yeah, it's just always a challenge. After Old Town Square, I bring my group to the astronomical clock, another place that gives me anxiety. Usually just because of the sheer amount of people that want to see the astronomical clock show, which of course everyone should see when you are in Prague. I personally like the astronomical clock show, but I do know that some people find it pretty disappointing. I think it's because of the length of the show. It's uh, under one minute long, and a lot of people expect it to be more astronomical. After the show, we usually go for a break. Finding a good place for the break is always a challenge for any guide in Prague, because the places that usually offer us guides to bring our groups there have ridiculous prices or really cheap quality products. And the places that we like hate us <laughs> because we come there with a big group. Uh, we usually go only for 15 minutes and a lot of people want to use the bathroom. So yeah, I found the places that I like and that like me and I stick with them. After the break, I head out to the Jewish Quarter, a place in Prague that is full of contrasts.
Next to the beautiful historical synagogues, we have these flashy, tacky stores on the Paris Street. So for a couple of years I worked for this one company, the name of which I'm not going to mention, because uh, they kind of screwed us over with money. <laughs> Am I supposed to say this? I don't know. And uh, they still use our faces for their online promotion, which is just great. And then I eventually make it to the Charles Bridge, another challenge in my life. Because I'm five foot two, so it's really easy for people to lose me in the crowd. So I usually use my umbrella so people can see me in the crowd. After Charles Bridge, everything is easier. I just finished my tour next to John Lennon Wall. Oh, by the way, that's Jimmy, one of our subscribers that came on our tour. We're always happy to see our subscribers on the tours. You know, now you made it there, yeah? Now you have no choice. Now I have no Now we have no choice. We have to put you to the video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good. Okay. And then I get one and a half hour break. During that time, I usually like to relax, stare out of the window and be silent. <laughs> so I find some quiet restaurant and go for lunch there. Because at 3 p.m. I have another tour to do. And yep, now I do it all over again. I usually finish by 6 p.m. and by that time I'm totally exhausted. I reach home, cook some food, feed the cats, of course, otherwise they will slaughter me, and then get to bed. And then for the rest of the evening, I'm usually just reading or watching YouTube videos. Then I set my alarm, wake up the next day and do it all over again. <laughs> 